Now the um, the next objective will be opposite. So opposite num opposite of a number is the number that is the same distance from zero on the number line, but on the opposite sides of zero. So if you look look at this uh, number line here, um, I have zero in the middle, and I have three and negative three. While the distance from zero to three to the right, so maybe I'll highlight here. So this distance right here from zero to three is three minus zero is three, right? So the distance from zero to three is three, but the distance from zero to negative three is also three, right? We don't say the distance is negative three. We don't, we don't have negative distance. Um, so the opposite numbers is the number have the same distance. They just have the opposite sign. Now, um, sometimes in algebra, the same symbol has different meanings. Just like some words in English, the specific meaning becomes clear by looking at how it's used. So uh, you have seen the symbol minus used in three different ways. So for the first one, 10 minus four, between the two numbers, it indicates the operation of subtraction. And we read is 10 minus four. Right? Um, if the negative is in front of the number, it indicates a negative number. So we read is negative eight. Um, in front of a variable, it indicates the opposite. Right? So we read negative x as opposite x, opposite of x. A lot of times people just read negative x, just kind of, kind of like negative eight. And here um, we have two negative signs. The one in the parentheses, the one in the parentheses, maybe I highlight in yellow here, right there, um, tell us the number is negative two. So the one in the parentheses is negative two. And then the one outside the parentheses, that negative outside the parentheses, tell us to take the opposite of negative two. That's the opposite of negative two. So we read neg negative, negative two the, as the opposite of negative two. Okay. All right, let's, um, let's, let's start some um, example. If I have nine minus eight, if you were to write it in, Eng in English, it will be nine minus eight, right? Because the negative is between two numbers, it indicates the operation of subtraction. What about how do, if given the English word negative of seven, how would you write it in math? Negative of seven, well, negative is negative sign, and negative of seven will be just negative seven. Let me write my answer in red. So let me put this one in red. Oops. Well, I guess it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. Um, opposite, of opposite of negative 10. Opposite of negative 10. So negative 10 is written like this. And opposite of negative 10 is there's another negative outside. Remember the, the one above there, the negative, negative two, and you put the parentheses around negative 10. So negative 10 is negative 10. And the negative outside indicates the opposite of negative 10. Negative y, if we wanna write this in English, we will say opposite of y, or you can say negative y. I don't think it's, it's, it's a big deal. Uh, a lot of time we, we, we're gonna say negative y, okay? Or we say negative y, negative y, both are correct. Opposite notation, um, negative A means the opposite of number A. The notation negative A is read as the opposite of A. Right? Just kind of like negative Y above there, we, we read as opposite of Y. So for example, um, if I have, if I wanna find the opposite of seven, if you, if you can, you can draw out the number line, right? Um, the opposite of seven, so um, ne negative seven is the same distance from zero as seven, but on the opposite side of zero. So the opposite of seven will be negative seven. Okay. 
So the answer will be negative seven. Oops, I have it right there. Um, yep, I have it right there. Um, the opposite of negative 10. Well, the opposite of negative 10 is 10 because 10 is the same distance from zero as negative 10, but on the opposite size of zero. Right? And opposite of negative six, I don't have the answer here for you. The opposite of a negative six, opposite of negative six is six, right? Opposite of negative six. Um, so the negative six is the distance uh, from zero to negative six. And opposite of that will be positive six. So opposite of negative six is positive six. Maybe I'll put an answer here. I'll put an answer here. Right, so here's 10, here is negative seven. Okay. And one more thing, as you can see, the two negatives, when you see the two negatives next, next to each other, that's become a positive. Just an FYI, because um, a later lesson, we'll, we'll come back to it. Let's try it. Let's pause the video and try it on your own for these kind of problems. Okay. Okay. Um, the positive of four. Well, the positive of four, I'm sorry, the opposite of four. The opposite of four is negative four, right? The opposite of four is negative four. What about the opposite of negative three? Well, here's negative three. The opposite of negative three would be the minus in front of that, so minus minus three. C, well, it's, it's read as the opposite of negative one, right? Opposite of negative one is, so this one you can read it as opposite of negative one. Well, opposite of negative one is positive one. Right. Opposite of negative one is positive one. 